Well, hello, welcome to Sprotborough. I've not done any updates for ages. I've been so busy with everything else outside. Um, work and garden and things like that. I've not really got much done. Uh, what I have done is just the base coat of the scenery. We're looking towards nurse, um, New Lane Bridge at the minute. Uh, coming across Cape Road, Cape Road Bridge. I've got to redo all the these bits on here, but I'm going to do them a bit nearer when I've got everything else done. So I keep knocking the things off. Um, but yeah, basically, it's just... Um, I just used some N-Gage Brown Ballast, uh, sprinkled it on with glue and all that stuff, and then I went over it with some, dabbed some uh, black poster paint, just, just cheapo stuff from the supermarket, and then when that was dry, I then got some green acrylic and just dabbed it on with a brush, and it's just, just to give a little bit of a, uh, a base coat, really, to the um, scenery. It just gives it just a little bit of base coat, and then when I put all the other bits over the top, uh, you know, it's just it, then it, if, it, if anything, you know, doesn't fit and it shows through, it's only showing through like that. So it just just gives it that little bit, of, bit of a bit of a start and a base coat. Um, all the buildings are stuck down, all fixed on, and at the station master's house, station master's house. I've had to sort of improvise with it because the one at uh, Sprotborough, it's been added to and bits added to it and changed in that. Um, the one at Pickburn is very similar, but that's once again that's had bits added to it. So I've just I've just kind of done a uh, sort of what I think it'll look like. So it's probably not accurate, but that's the best I I can do because I can't find any any other build, any other station houses locally in the Holland Barnsley Railway that that, that that look like them. But uh, Pickburn and uh, Sprotborough were the same the station buildings were the same as well um but in fact now if you go to Sprotborough now none of this is all that all that's sticking up with the, this building now is just the two chimney stacks because they decided to knock it down um of what I can what I can gather um they can't get planning permission to rebuild it for some reason all the you know some 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 wrangling with the council I think anyway so anyway that's all stuck down um well, we've done all this, um, all the scenery, just a base coat all the way to KB Tunnel. There you go. So yeah, that's the, that's that's what I've been up to on here anyway. Um, Adwick Lane major changes coming after Christmas, but I'll do a video on that later. I was going to do a swap meet buys video tonight, but I went I went to the Elsa swap meet, and there was hardly anything there. It was really bad. Uh, I've never seen it that like that bad before. Um, I went in January, I think January or February last time I went, and uh, there was one on tonight, so I thought, oh, I'll, I'll go, and uh, yeah, hardly anything there at all, um, so yeah, very, very disappointing, so I can't do a swap meet by his video, but I thought I'd just, just do a quick video, quick update on Sprott, but I've also got um, a Gauge Master track cleaner, which I've wired into the control panel on here as well, like what I've done with Sprott, but, um at Troxford, and and the Abrit Lane layout. But as I say, big changes on the Abrit Lane layout coming next year. More about that nearer the time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just a little, uh, little update. And uh, take care. Bye for now.